Today, we're exploring the profound knowledge shared by Alex Collier, the esteemed Andromedan contactee. His experiences and messages from the Andromedans are fascinating and crucial for understanding our place in the universe. We'll be providing you with insights that are sure to elevate your cosmic consciousness. Throughout this video, remember that your engagement helps spread this vital information far and wide. Each like, subscribe, and notification bell you click brings Alex Collier's invaluable knowledge and the wisdom of the Andromedans to more curious minds across the globe. Also, remember that we host a live webinar three times a month on a Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, so be sure to visit the link in the description for more information. But for now, here's today's video. Between 1860 and 1920, there were a number of great fires and floods that destroyed ancient architecture throughout the world. Was this an attempt to erase sacred history and technology that included Tartarian, Antediluvian, and Atlantean remains? And if so, why? Asks Gino. You know, if you were going to enslave a population and you're on point on that, okay, we're going to put you on point and your mission is to enslave a population. The less they know about themselves, the less they know about their past, the less they know about where they've come from, the more easily it is to control and um, manipulate this population. Because anything that you teach them, they will be getting for the first time. What you do is you kill off the generations that have this knowledge, and the younger generations, you just begin a process of re-educating in a completely different way, completely different thought patterns, and with completely different history. In fact, you can even reteach these civilizations to speak a different language because there's no one around left to show them the old ways. This has been done everywhere in every galaxy to some degree or more. Wherever there is contrast, this has been done. I think that that is exactly what has happened. And I believe that this this destruction goes back to roughly 1000 AD. That's when it really became extremely paramount um, in re-educating humanity. Now, I don't want to upset anybody by saying this, but I'm just going to. Their religions were on point. to destroy the old world and the past so that the re-education of humanity into stupid could commence. That was the only way they were going to remain in power was to, was to make us stupid and dumb us down. It was the only way they were going to remain in power. And there were a lot of hiccups along the way. You know, there have been a couple of times I think they were they were close to losing control of humanity. But they always had this ancient technology tucked away and hidden in places. For example, 
Um, and I know Elaine has talked about this. I know Michael Sala has talked about this, and I guess he's going to be readdressing this as well. Um, those who have been to Antarctica, those that talk about Antarctica, uh, those who talk about the arcs, there are places, and I'm just going to stick to Earth now, uh, depositories of technology that exist, that there is technology there that goes back over a million years. There are huge, deep underground caverns in both the Philippines and Indonesia, where technology, at least one of every new piece of technology that's been built for the last 100,000 years, at least one of those is taken into these depositories, these underground caverns, and is stored there. And I mean, we're talking flying machines, flying carpets, spaceships, uh, laser technology, healing technology, at least one of everything is being stored in these underground caverns. I know this for a fact. So. They're scared. The dark side is scared shitless of us finding out about all this. They really are. Um, and they have every, every reason to be. Every reason to be. They have been sabotaging humanity for tens and tens and tens of thousands of years. And one of these depositories is on the island of Siloisi. And I've probably said too much already. It's all going to come out. You know, it, they, they can't hide it much longer. Um, I'm sure the White Hats and the Space Force knows where it is. Um, I'm sure that there have been briefings between Space Force and Alliance about some of that technology because you know it may be a million years old but it's really really far advanced technology that may belong to the founders to the ancient builders and you know the, the planet makers we probably don't have the sophistication to even know how to play and dabble with this type of technology. So you would you would think that they would say, look, we're aware of this. We need to have conversations about these depositories of technology. And, you know, we will leave it here. However, there are going to be some conditions for you to use them because of where you are both physically, mentally, and spiritually. You haven't reached an advanced maturity yet to even use this type of technology, even though it's a million years old in your time. God, man, there's so much going on. <laughs> there is so much going on. As we come to the end of today's cosmic journey, we hope you're leaving with a mind full of wonder and curiosity. If you've enjoyed this video and believe in the importance of sharing Alex Collier's messages, please show your support 
by liking this video, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the bell icon. This simple act goes a long way in ensuring that this knowledge reaches others searching for these cosmic truths. Also, remember to leave your thoughts, experiences, or questions in the comments below. We do read all the comments. Until next time, keep looking up and questioning the universe. Stay curious, fellow cosmic explorers. If you would like to see Andromedan contactee Alex Collier live via video stream, we hold a live webinar three times a month on a Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. For more information and dates of upcoming live webinars, please visit alexcollier.org. Please click on one of the above videos to seek more of Alex Collier's knowledge.